today we are going to move um, a couple of million bees from the countryside into the centre of Copenhagen. Our beekeeper, Mikael, he's brought these bees in from uh, Lolland, out in the countryside. There's um, around uh, 50,000 to 60,000 bees in each of these boxes. They're going to get to work pollinating the trees and flowers and strawberries and apples um, in all of the nice uh, houses and gardens in this area. We've got six families on the roof up here and uh, we're just going to check them, make sure they're not about to swarm and make sure they've got enough room. I got the idea to start the project um, a bit over a year ago, just after the climate conference, which was actually held here in the Bella Centre. Um, I was uh, cycling home one evening and um, I passed some beehives, which are um, over there by uh, on the other side of the golf course. And I started thinking, well, what are they doing here? The bees in the city, can that work? Um, what, what's going on? So um, I called the beekeeper and met him and began to learn about the problem with bees in the city. We're going up onto the uh, roof, this is the control centre for Bella Centre. What we do is we work uh, not only with environment, we also work with social projects. Um, our trainee beekeepers, they're formerly homeless people from a uh, homeless project out here, um, and businesses. So businesses contribute space, um, our uh, disadvantaged people, they come in as new beekeepers, and what we do is uh, make sure that by putting these things together, you uh, create a sustainable urban honey industry in the city. What people don't realise is that when they buy a glass of honey, they're not buying honey, they're buying springtime in a glass. They're buying, uh, buying into their own environment. And uh, the only way people can learn about that and realise what that actually is, is by um, participating in the process of making the honey and learning about what bees do. People aren't really aware of what's going on under their noses when they, 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 uh, they live in the city in terms of the environment. And what bees can do is uh, introduce people to a whole new way of looking at, uh, looking at the urban environment. Bees have been, uh, been around for about 200 million years um, and right now bees won't survive unless people are here to look after them. So the people need the bees and the bees need the people and uh, we'll continue as long as that's necessary.